This is Realme Pad Mini and today I would like to demonstrate how you can set up parental controls for this device. So to start, you will need to launch settings, then find and enter the accounts category. And in here, check whether you have any Google accounts. If you do have any, remove them like that. Once this step is out of the way, get back to the main settings page, reopen another category of settings. This time it's going to be Google. In here, tap at the parental controls, get started, child or teenager, next. Now you gotta sign into your child's Google account, so let me quickly do that off the screen. So as you can see, the lock in procedure is pretty normal. Then select the account you have just signed into from the list over here. And now enter credentials to another Google account, this time to the one that belongs to you as a parent, or to put it in other words, sign into Google account you will use to supervise your child's activity. So I will also quickly do that off the screen to expedite the process and not to reveal the account password by accident, of course. So sign into your parental Google account. After you will enter the correct password, the account will be checked and you will be forwarded to the about supervision page. In here, you gotta scroll it all the way down and type in the child's Google account password one more time. Then tap at the agree button, onwards tap at the allow option and wait for the parent and child accounts to get linked. Now hit the next button, the managing apps step we can just skip. No need to waste our time on that. The same applies for filters and settings. From here, if the device that is highlighted over here or written in the bold font is the phone or tablet that you will be using to supervise your child, you can tap at the uh, blue button over here, over here and the required Google Family Link app will be automatically downloaded and installed on your phone. <clears throat> or you can absolutely manually get the app. So for that, just skip the step. And as you can see, everything is set at the child's end at least. Now take your parental device and as I've already mentioned, you will need to download and install the Family Link app. Let me quickly remove it from my phone so I can show you the installation or download process rather. So here is the Play Store, here is this app. Let's tap at the install button and let it download itself. Now you just gotta, you just gotta go ahead and launch the app or well, I've accidentally did not install it for some reason, but well, let's now actually install it. And in here, just open it. And the app provides you with a lot of useful controls. Uh, you just gotta be cautious and attentive when signing into the app, since you gotta make sure that you are logging into it with the a parental Google account. And inside the app, you have all kinds of controls, such as setting up the daily usage limits or downtime, downtime routine as well as managing the app limits and your child overall app activity and app permissions, apply content restrictions and age filters, configure account settings, manage devices, manage your uh, child's location, and see the child's device usage highlights. Alrighty, so that will be it as far as parental controls, or excuse me, setting up parental controls goes on this tablet. We highly appreciate your attention, guys. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.